Monday. It is currently about 7.30, July 19th, and I'm about to head to class in a few minutes here, but I decided to vlog this week because I don't think I've vlogged since like the first or second week of the semester, an entire week in my life. So I just wanted to update you guys because the semester is almost over here. This week is pretty chill before next week gets really crazy with final competencies, and then the week after that is final exams and then I have a two and a half week break before my fall classes start so this is kind of my last like normal week so I figured this would be the perfect week to take you guys along with me but I made my coffee of course this is my first time trying out the Pikes Peak Nespresso Pods and I really like them you can get them at Target if you're interested but I am going to finish this and then Head to my exam and interventions class, which I have from 8 to 12, and then I have my integumentary lab from 1 to 4, and then I'll be home for the night. I'm wearing my light green Lululemon Align shorts today. I got them from Lululemon, and they were $39, and then I got another 25% off for being in healthcare, so they were super cheap, and I literally am obsessed with them. Just got home from class. It ended about 30 minutes early, which doesn't happen that often, but literally is always amazing. It's really gross outside today. It's been raining in Georgia for the past like week straight nonstop, so that's why my hair looks crazy. This morning we lectured on exercise in special populations, so like moms, pediatrics, um, geriatrics, people with diabetes, cancer, things like that, and just special things you kind of need to keep in mind when working with those age groups. So now I'm home for lunch for about an hour and a half, and I think I'm going to heat up some leftovers I have because I went out to brunch yesterday, and I might take Teddy on a little bit of a walk too since I have time, but I am pretty tired, so I'm going to also try to lay in bed and relax a little bit. Like I said, I don't have too much this week. I do have a project I need to present on Thursday, but I'm going to work on that PowerPoint after class today. So... Yeah, normally during lunch, if we have a little extra time, I'll try to get some work done, but it's Monday and I'm tired and I can't really think of anything that I would be able to get done in this little time frame, so not going to worry about that too much, so let's go make some food. So I just finished my brunch, but I'm also going to eat this verb bar, which Teddy is wanting to have, but it is... Teddy, stop it. I'm gonna try them out. You can always find the link in the description box to try 16 bars for $9 and vanilla latte. It's my absolute favorite and I love having these at lunch to get me through the rest of the day. Hey guys, so I am back from class and like I said, I had my Integ lab for about three hours and we had PTs come in from a local hospital and show different like modalities they use for wound care. So we got to see ultrasound for wound care e-stim for wound care, pulse lavage, um, different debridement techniques, total contact casting for pressure wounds. It was just a really cool experience overall. So now I'm home and I took Teddy for a walk, which is why he's panting behind me. But I'm going to take a look at my planner and see what all I have to do tonight. Because like I said, I don't really have much to speak, but I want to go ahead and kind of plan out what I'm going to be doing every day this week to start kind of preparing for competencies and for my final exams. I know that tomorrow I will be going to campus with my boyfriend who's going to be my patient so I can do some competency prep and I'm hoping I'll get to film a little bit there so that'll be exciting. You guys get to kind of see a little more what I do at school since I can't really film while I'm actually there. So I'm just going to figure out what homework I am going to be doing tonight and so I think I'm going to go ahead and get started working on a PowerPoint for a presentation that I have on Thursday, just because that's kind of like mindless work. It won't take me too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and knock that out. And then I have to finish up a scholarship essay that is due Friday. I've wrote, I've written most of it, but I want to go ahead and proof it and then maybe send it to a friend to edit it or something. So that's just things I can knock out before dinner. 
and then after dinner I'm going to study a little bit for my comprehensive exam that is not till August 6th but it's after all my final exams so kind of have to start preparing now so that's the plan for the rest of the night not sure how much I'm gonna vlog just because I am really tired and I really just want to focus so may or may not talk to you guys in the morning Blue. That's the color you want. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I am about to head to class and this morning I have a four hour long simulation lab which we do these probably once a month or so. So half the time I'll be a patient and half the time I'll be a therapist. We're practicing as if we were in the ICU or the emergency department which is pretty cool. So. Basically, when I'm the PT, I will go in for about 15 minutes to look at the chart. Um, that's like a fake patient case. And then my patient, which is one of my classmates, will walk in the room and get all set up in their fake hospital bed and stuff. So it's a lot of fun, but it is super exhausting. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes at lunch. But I'm going to put some makeup on, put my hair up because it's really hot and humid out today, and then head to campus. When I met you, I said I thought I'm home from Sim Lab, and honestly, it was so fun. I was a crazy patient. I will insert some pictures here, but I had tons of fractures and tubes and all that stuff. So it definitely was really good practice. Um, because I think I mentioned this before, but long term, I want to work in women's health and pediatrics, but I could definitely see myself kind of starting out in a hospital before going into those fields just to get some experience kind of seeing everything. So it was tons of fun. And now I have about 20 minutes left of my lunch break before I have to head back to campus for my medical screening class from one to four. Okay, my boyfriend is coming over tonight and I think we're gonna work out and also go to campus to practice a little bit for my competency. So yeah. So I just changed into my workout clothes and before I head to the gym, I wanted to take a second and talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Hydragun. And Hydragun literally is so sweet and they sent me this like custom Hydragun with a label with my name on it, which I was not expecting at all. And I am just really excited to open this up. And inside they included this cute little graphic with an Instagram picture on it and just thanking me for working with them. Oh my gosh, that literally is so sweet. I'm so excited about this. I have been wanting a massage gun for so long. It comes in this cute little case like so. When you open it up, there is all different massage heads in it, which I will pan to in a second. And then the gun itself along with the little ball thing. So. I'm going to try this out now. I went to an Orange Theory class on Sunday and I'm still really sore from it, especially in my pecs and my upper traps and my hamstrings. So I'm going to try this out before I go to the gym now so I can have a great workout. So the Hydragon is all charged up here. So I'm going to start by using it on my quad and Teddy is going to be joining me today. And to turn it on, you just hold this button for three seconds. So we're gonna do that. One two, three, so you press it one more time, and then it starts going like that, and then you just kind of work your way down, and again, you do it for 30 seconds pre-workout, and they recommend using the bigger circular head for like bigger major muscle groups, which is why I chose this one, and it's really powerful, so you don't need to press down too hard yourself. It's super lightweight. Overall, 10 out of 10, especially because I already was sore for my Orange Theory class. So now we're going to do the other leg, too. Just working up and down the, the quad, getting those trigger points. And next, I'm going to do my upper trap because that gets pretty sore, too, from just studying and sitting all day. So I'm just going to apply it there. It's 
All right, there we have it. I'm going to head to the gym now. If you're interested in purchasing a Hydra Gun, you can check the link in the description box down below for a discount code, but I definitely recommend you guys check it out, especially if you are very active and exercise and are sore a lot, or if you're a student that just sits a lot and has bad posture because it feels amazing. Workout is done. Now we are walking into canvas and we're about to practice taking ankle brachial index pressures. And Which Austin, means I'm getting a massage. Woo! No, that's not what that means. That's the second part of it. Oh. That's the manual therapy techniques. Which means I'm getting a massage. Woo! Okay, so you just saw me. I used the little Doppler thing and the blood pressure cuff to get the numbers for the brachial arteries, um, which is part of the ABI equation. Now we're gonna go down to the foot. So you start out by feeling for the dorsalis pedis pulse. Once you get the general area for it, I feel it right here. I'm gonna squirt some ultrasound gel on it. Right in that area. Turn on the Doppler, it's gonna get loud. And then you should be able to hear the artery right there. So there it is there. You hold it there and you blow it up until it's gone. So I heard it occluded at about 120. So then you do a ratio, so it would be 120 over 140. And then that ratio tells you if it's safe to apply compression to the patient. The end. Hey babe, what time is it? No, I'm going to be early. It's super early. <laughs> what time is it? Like 5.45. We're going to Orange Theory, woo! I've been up for quite a while, like you just saw, because I went to Orange Theory at 6 a.m. this morning with my boyfriend Austin and afterwards we got smoothies and now I'm back home about to get started on some homework but first I'm going to use my Hydra gun so I'm not incredibly sore tomorrow so let's do that and then I'm going to sit at my desk and to get started with some schoolwork I don't have anything until service learning at 11:45, so nothing too exciting is happening today just a busy productive day getting some things done I'm realizing now that I have not vlogged in a hot minute. It is currently 2.10 and I think the last time I vlogged was like 8.30 this morning. But basically I've just been running errands all morning, submitting various assignments, opening a bank account, volunteering for a class. So now I'm finally at my desk ready to start studying for the rest of the day. So I just made some popcorn and I got out my DPT semester one binder that I put together after first semester. So. Teddy. I just took him on a walk so he's really thirsty. Um, but I'm going to start flipping through this because I haven't like thought about my first semester classes in quite some time and we do have a comprehensive exam coming up in about two weeks here but things are about to get really crazy with finals so I need to get to start on it now. So I'm going to be focusing studying pretty hard probably until about dinner time so I will update you guys in a little bit. Morning guys happy Thursday it is currently about 7 15 a.m. And I want to apologize for not really vlogging much yesterday. I just was feeling really tired after my Orange Theory class. And honestly, I just kind of was home doing a lot of miscellaneous things around the house. So nothing too exciting that I could have taken you guys along with me to do. But today I have a full day of classes from 8 to 4. This morning in my exam and intervention class, I am presenting a project on the boxing class that me and my roommate did. If you watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago, I talked about it, but we had to go to a new exercise class we've never done before and then write just kind of about our experience and present it to the class. That way, 
if we have a patient that does that type of exercise, we know kind of what it all entails. So it wasn't hard at all, um, and the presentation should be pretty simple, but I am going to put on a little bit of makeup just because I will be presenting in front of my whole class. So I'm going to do that now. And this afternoon, I just have my integumentary class, which I always have from one to four. So I'm home for my one hour lunch break. I just made some cauliflower gnocchi in the air fryer and I made an energy liquid IV because I feel kind of dehydrated but also tired so I didn't want to have coffee and this is like the equivalent of like three cups of water and it also energizes you because there's like ginger and stuff in it. So I have to go back to campus pretty soon here for my integumentary class. I think we're just lecturing today for three hours and I think I said earlier that I was cooking dinner with my boyfriend tonight, but his HelloFresh shipment got delayed, so I think we might either make something out or just make something else or get takeout. And then we're both really sore still from Orange Theory, so I don't think we're going to work out tonight, but we might potentially go to a yoga class at LA Fitness because he has a membership and I sneak in as his extra guest. So, yeah, that's the rundown for the rest of tonight. It is currently about 6 o'clock and I've been home from class for quite some time, just kind of relaxing, had a little snack, walked Teddy, just been watching some YouTube videos, and my boyfriend's on his way over now and we're going to go to Kava for dinner, if you've heard of it. It is a chain, but kind of like a smaller chain, and they just opened one in Atlanta, and they have like Mediterranean salad, rice, veggie bowls, so we're going to go there before our LA Fitness Yoga class at 7. And tomorrow morning, I actually don't have my movement science class, which we normally have from 8 to 12, because for some reason, that final was last week, so we just ended it like two weeks earlier than our all of our other classes. So I get to kind of sleep in a little bit tomorrow. I am still going to wake up reasonably early and do some homework and studying, but that'll be really nice. That's why I'm not really doing anything tonight. So we did not make it to yoga because I was feeling a bit car sick and we were cutting it close with our dinner so we decided to go shopping. So we're going to do a little haul for you guys. First things first, um, there was a vitamin shop next to where we were eating dinner and through the window I saw that they had the cookies and cream power crunch bars which, which is a new flavor that I've been wanting to try and I saw that they had the 12 pack of them and when I went to check out the guy told me that it was buy and get one half off so I also got the red velvet. I've talked about these all the time on my channel but they are protein bars and I have one almost every single day around 10 a.m. just because that's kind of when I start getting hungry for a snack and I don't eat meat so it's just a good way for me to get some protein. Sorry the lighting's very weird right now. Austin has something he wants to show you guys. Okay, so I saw this shirt in TJ Maxx, and it's fire. She doesn't think so. She thinks it makes me look like an old tourist. But I think it's absolutely fire. Comment down below how yeah, you feel about come this on. shirt. <laughs> look, doesn't it's retro, and retro stuff is cool. No. And retro stuff looks good on me. No. And this is going to look good on me. You're going to see on Instagram in our upcoming vacation, this shirt is going to be featured in a great looking fit. And that's all I have to say. And real quick what I got from TJ Maxx, first just a vanilla coffee syrup because I like to put this in my Nespresso and I ran out and they have them really cheap. Uh, Teddy got some poop bags which is not exciting but they're really cheap from there. A new beauty blender because mine was gross chapstick because my chapstick was out and I got this little tank top that plus my shirt is gonna be a great picture and it's really soft and it has a built-in bra which is always a plus and lastly I got some gummy worms to eat on the car at home so let's go home Good morning guys, happy Friday. Like I mentioned yesterday, I don't have class this morning because I took my final for my movement science class last week, so that class is over. My roommate and I are about to head to campus for probably about two or three hours to get some practice in because next week we have two competencies, 
one of them for my integumentary class and one of them for my exam and interventions class. And we probably will practice a good bit over the weekend too, but if we can just go in for a few hours this morning and it decrease the amount of time we have to practice this weekend, that would be great because I am babysitting tomorrow morning and then Sunday afternoon. So if I can get this done now and feel pretty good about my competencies before going into next week, that would be awesome. I do have research this afternoon from 1 to 4, and we have a quiz, so I already did the reading for it, and they're just like small 10 question quizzes we have every week, so I'm just going to go through my notes during lunch for about an hour or so, and hopefully that will be sufficient enough for my research quiz. So let's go to campus and practice for some competencies. As we head back to campus for my research quiz and class, practicing for the competency went pretty well this morning. We were there for about two and a half hours, just running through mostly for our integumentary competency, practicing the ABI pressures, which I showed you guys earlier in this vlog, and just going through how to clean and dress a wound because that is what our competency is on. And then I came back here and was reviewing some notes for my research quiz, which I am about to go take. And then that class, it's just like free time to work on this like research essay project thing that we've been working on for the past couple of weeks. But we have to stay on campus, which is kind of sad because it's like Friday afternoon, but I'm always grateful because then like I don't have to do it outside of class time, if that makes sense. So I packed some headphones, I packed some snacks, I packed all my chargers up. So I'm ready to work for the next three hours. And I usually finish a little bit early and then can study and work on other stuff kind of independently. So we're going to go do that, and I will talk to you guys at 4 when I am done with my classes for the week. I'm not really sure what I'm doing tonight yet, but I'll let you guys know. I'm in class, and I was able to get my assignment done and also finish a lab that is due on Monday in our little time block. So I'm super excited about that. And now it is about 5 o'clock and my boyfriend just got off work so I'm going to head over to his apartment and we're just going to hang out tonight, cook some dinner, and watch the Olympic opening ceremonies. So I'm going to end this vlog here so I can edit and upload it for you guys by tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. If you are new here, I do upload every Saturday at 11 a.m. And I would love if you guys can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below to support my channel because it would really mean a lot to me and really help me grow. But thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video next week. Bye friends!